Look at this little treat right here. It's the beautiful paper bark tree from Australia. Now look at Kinkaberia. We're gonna to try to save this thing, but we couldn't get a big enough root ball. So we had to pull it out. Anyway, it has this really beautiful coloration and texture on it, right here. And, uh, and I left this big structure on top. It's, I'll tell you how tall it is. It's one, two, three, four. It's like about 13 feet total if you were to stand it up. And I was thinking of putting it in the nursery somewhere. In fact, I still might. And mounting a bunch of epithetic plants like bromeliads and orchids all over it. Be beautiful like in a zoo or something, like in a bird enclosure. I call the Oakland Zoo to see if they want it. But uh, we'd probably trim off all of this little bit of foliage here. Just leave the main branches because they're really interesting. And you could grow like, uh, oh, like Monstera up it or some tropical vining plants, Bougainvillea, whatever. But what you could do actually is dig a big hole and just set this thing about three feet in the hole. Then it'll stand up. And uh, then you'll have this really interesting sort of vertical feature in your garden. I thought about the demo garden, but we're just running out of room. Uh, anyway, the first person that comes down here that wants this thing, we will load it up with our little crane truck into your truck. And then uh, you can take it home and do whatever you please with it. Otherwise, we'll probably cut it up and sadly, we will burn it. So uh, make decent firewood, I think. But yeah, think about that. You almost have to look at it sideways to really understand what it's going to look like when it stands up. Could be a really interesting feature in a garden. And here comes the tree!